Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm going to do a quick tip here. Quick tip. All right, so basically when you're running your computer, you have something called a governor. So if we go to CPU, info, it's going to spit out all of our info for our CPU cores. And since we have a ton of cores, I mean, we can go to the man page for this real quick. And it's a utility to retrieve CPU frequency kernel information. So this is going to print out all your your processor information, your governor, how your kernel is going to uh, interact with it, what the driver is, all that type of stuff. And uh, we got some human readable uh, output you can use. You can show some statistics if they're available. All sorts of fun stuff. So if you want to just play around with this, we can do, uh, just try that M. Looks like it does the same thing. Let's see. Let's do. That's just the frequency. Go back here, and they have dash watts, maybe S and Y. So we can see what that does. Dash S and Y. Doesn't let you do that. Okay. So that's clock timing, maybe? S. And uh, that's the frequency scaling maybe yeah well anyway there's a lot of fun stuff to play in this what what i pretty much what i want to show you is right here uh it's the the governors when when you're playing with this when you're when you're using your computer and you're you're gaming what you want to do is you want to set it to performance because you know if you're streaming and gaming at the same time you want to maximize your performance i remember back in the day in good old gnome shell 2 that no, wasn't, wasn't even gnome shell just gnome 2 uh, or gnome gnome um, they had a little uh, CPU frequency uh, adjuster you, you use in your system tray well uh, I'm not familiar with that on KDE I went and looked at the widgets I couldn't find it so I ended up you know using this tool and uh, you can actually change your governor if you want to and I'll show you how to do that pseudo CPU frequency set and we do what is it it's going to be R dash G and then I think it's at what does it say it's at performance right now you see all of them are set to performance so if we wanted to change it to something else we can do power save and now it's set to power save. So if we do CPU frequency information, still saying performance. Well, that's not what it's supposed to say. Well, let's check the GUI. Oh, there we go. So it's on power save. And we can check some of the. CPUs are set to one the the first CPU set to power save and then the rest of them are set to performance. So when you're messing with this I thought this tech R was supposed to be setting power save to all the CPUs. Let's look at the man page real quick for this. Miss the CPU maximum CPU frequency governor frequency related well related supposed to do all the other hardware but it doesn't look like it did it no. this might be when you you're gonna want to use maybe a shell script or something if it's not working quite right or you can just use this uh, this GUI because this GUI does have the option to just set all CPUs to you know performance or set all CPUs to power save 
And just like that, you can go in here, get the CPU inf information, and they're all set to power save. So I'm guessing, you know, the related uh, tag is not not working quite right. Or maybe you can put it over here. See if that did it. Well, actually, let's put it to performance. What was that? One says performance. The other one says power save. Yeah. So it's not. It doesn't look like the that's working quite right for every single CPU. So I mean, there's little tricks to repeat this command in a bash shell script or something like that. If you wanted to use just a shell script, um, maybe it's going to work with your CPU. I don't know, but that doesn't work with mine. Try that. Set it to performance that way. Nope, still on power save. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm just going to use this because, yeah, it's not a hassle for me. It's a nice little utility. And to install that, you saw the, the packages. Um, they have, I'll just do app search, CPU utils. And right here, we have the CPU frequency utils. So those are some of the utilities that I was just using. And I think they have a GUI as well. If you want to search for CPU uh, power GUI, I think that's the package name. So we can do search app search. So yeah, yeah, there you go. So that's the GUI that I'm using. These are the utilities if you want to do it from the command line or something. And yeah, so that's going to make it so your game isn't running. Uh, you know, at a, a less powered state than it could be. Uh, maybe maybe you want to, to bump up the, the power for that. So, yeah, uh, it's just been a quick tip from, from me, and I'll catch you guys later.